Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is part 14 of the video series uh, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Uh, I, I'd like you to uh, give me your take on these verses here. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexual offenders, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Um, now, uh, people will send me these, this verse here and tell me, see, as a Christian, uh, you better not do those things or you're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. What do you have to say to them about that? Well, I would, I would say to them that uh, um, the Bible says there's no one righteous, no, not one. There's no one who does good. Um, Jesus said that, that uh, um, Jesus said only God is good. Now, um, I would say to them, look at that list. And I know you can find yourself on that list. That you, you've done one of those sins up there. Maybe you've done a multitude of, of, of those sins up there. And, 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 and you've sinned against God. And you're not going to get into God's kingdom unless you allow God to remove that sin from you. And the only way you're going to have that sin removed from you is by trusting Jesus Christ as your Savior. Mm -hmm. So it's just another list um, that gives me a knowledge of my sin and shows me I need Jesus as my Savior. You know, and, and, and God is God is commanded. Do not be deceived. It's a command. Don't you know? Hey, Frank, don't be deceived. Um, the sexual and moral. Have you ever had sex outside of marriage, Frank? Yes, I'm guilty, Lord. Um, um, idolatry. Have you ever worshipped something more than me? Um, uh, you ever value something more than me? Uh, of course I have, Lord. Uh, you, you know uh, the the adultery one. Where Jesus said, if you look at a woman to lust after her, you've committed adultery with her already in your heart. I've broken that one. I mean, uh, uh, drunkenness, I, I, I've, I've broken that one. Stealing, uh, I've broken that one. You know, I, I'm guilty of breaking these. And, and, and it, what it shows me is it, it gives me a knowledge of my sin. It shows me I need to trust in Jesus Christ as my Savior to be able to inherit God's kingdom. Mm hmm Okay, uh, the way I see this verse here applying to the church uh, is different than the, um, uh, the, the, the people that want to use this verse to show us that we must follow these things for our salvation. We must not do these things to keep our salvation. If that's what you believe, then basically you've got, you flipped the whole thing around backwards. Okay, These are not the things that we must do to get saved. These are the warnings that are telling us you're condemned. Because we've all done this. This is just like an extension of the Ten Commandments. Uh, we take the Ten Commandments and then we add all these other things in here. These are just one thing after another saying, you've done this, you're condemned, you're condemned, you're condemned. We're guilty, we're guilty, we're guilty. And that's why this gives us an understanding of our sins so that we know that we need the Savior. This is not, this is not uh, there to tell us that uh, if you want to be saved, you've got to stop doing those things. It's there to tell us that because you've done some of these things, and we've all done some you're of these things, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. You're not going to inherit the kingdom You're a sinner. Huh. And that makes us fall on their knees and say, I'm a sinner, I'm guilty, I need the Savior. Jesus, yeah. save me. God's warning you. You're not going to inherit my kingdom. Yeah. If you've done any of these things, and what person on planet Earth can look through this list, and then you're going to go into another list in a, in a second, and say they've never done these things? Mm -hmm. They haven't. They 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 have done these things. They have sinned against God, and this points you to Jesus that you need to come to Him and trust in Him alone, and what He did on that cross mm -hmm. alone, um, so so that you can be be cleansed from all of this sin that you've committed mm -hmm. against God. Let's go to the other list now. In Revelation 21.8, uh, it, it's a very similar uh, uh, statement. It says, uh, The cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. And who in the world can say they've never told a lie? Yes. And when they say that, they're telling. When they say they never have, they're telling one to you right now. Mm -hmm. that, so, this is just this is a measuring stick. 
Yes. I can look at it. I can see that I've, I've, I've sinned against God and I'm not going to inherit His kingdom unless I trust in His Son and what His Son did on the cross so that I can be forgiven of these sins. But the, uh, the work salvation uh, people uh, will use these verses to try to um, put us in religious bondage and condemn us saying that um, uh, if you do those things, you're going to hell even though you're a Christian. Now, uh, as a Christian, even let's say you, you got saved when you were 19 years old, from that time until now, if you ever did any of these things, they would say that you're not a Christian because uh, this is telling us if you do those, you're going to have your place in the lake of fire. Well, that's uh, not what the Scripture says. Yeah. That's not what the Bible says. Um, you know, the Scripture says in, in the book of Galatians, uh, chapter 5, um, uh, verse 4, Our Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by law, ye are fallen from grace. Um, that's what the scripture says there. And if you if you look over over here, it, it says, uh, "This only would I I learn of you." In, in the book of Galatians, chapter three, verse two, "This only would I learn of you: Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith." You know. It, it, so um, basically, if I'm out in the street, I have someone. Um, come up to me and they tell me they believe that Jesus Christ is their Savior. Um, they believe that He died on the cross for their sins and they're trusting in that only to save them. They're trusting only in Him to save them. And they have a, a beer in their hand. And then all of a sudden, I start to condemn them and say, you drunkard, you're going to hell. Now I just put them under a guilt trip. I just put them under a works trip. And now they believe that, you know, you know what? Man, I better not drink this beer or I'm going to go to hell. And now they're not trusting in Jesus and what He did on the cross to save them like they were. Yeah. They, they were believing the right thing. They were trusting Jesus to save them and what He did on the cross. But now they're believing that their salvation is in that beer and not in Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, so, um, all of the verses like these, uh, they, they can be under this umbrella of verses to convict us. You've got the Ten Commandments. You've got all the commands that Jesus gave us. You've got all these things by Paul and also in Revelation. And it's all saying, if you've done any of these things, you're guilty. Th these things are uh, there to make us understand our sin and our need for forgiveness. Uh, we're, they're not there to uh, give us a set of religious rules we must follow for our salvation. Exactly. The Bible says, wherefore, by the, it says in Galatians, let me just read it from Galatians so I don't misquote it. It says, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster, that's exactly what this is, to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. What does the schoolmaster do? Uh, teaches. Um, it gives you an understanding um, of something. And in, in this case... These scriptures are giving you an understanding and a knowledge of your sin to show you why you need to come to Jesus Christ and you need to put your faith in Him so uh, you could be justified by your faith in Christ. Yes. So it's very appropriate to use these verses to tell people uh, that they are a sinner and they need the Savior. Uh, but to use these verses to try to tell people that uh, they must stop doing things to earn their salvation or to keep their salvation, that would be a mistake. Yeah, because you're preaching a work salvation then. Alright, we'll move on to the next subject in the next video.